Broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus, you're watching Mustang Sports. Hello and welcome to this edition of Mustang Sports on this Monday, October 14th. I'm your host, Denzel Quarterman. Cal Poly had a busy week in athletics. We'll get you straight into the action. Saturday, Cal Poly football took on Weber State at home. Cal Poly was hoping for a bounce back win after their defeat versus Yale last week. Sophomore quarterback Dano Graves got the offense off to a quick start in his first collegiate start as a Mustang. Running back Christian Ivory would waltz into the end zone, capping off a nine play 80 yard drive with a three yard touchdown run. The Air Force transfer Graves would show his athleticism and playmaking ability on the ground, rushing for over 100 yards on 17 attempts as the leading rusher for the Mustangs. Christian Ivory was also brilliant on the ground for the Mustangs, scoring two touchdowns and adding another through the air. There was also another quarterback in this game. Austin Cipolletti of Weber State never really got the offense going. Cal Poly would hold the Wildcats to 173 all-purpose yards for the game. The Mustangs would have their best game of the year by far, earning over 550 yards of total offense. Cal Poly should, would go on to shut out the Wildcats with a dominant 47-0 victory. The last shutout win for the Mustangs, 2006 versus Savannah State. That game ended 55-0. The Mustangs go on the road this week as they face Montana this Saturday at 12.30 p.m. If you were curious of the score on Tennis Court 4, you won't be anymore. Cal Poly Tennis received $250,000 in improvements to the courts, including a scoreboard that allows you to track play on each of the seven courts. Lead donors for the improvements were John and Tracy Ronka and David and Diana Salmon, as well as Tennis, Cor Tennis Connect Slow. Cal Poly will play its first matches on the new courts in early 2014. The men's water polo club team is consistently nationally ranked every year. This year, they come in ranked at number nine. Head coach Connor McGill says this is the best team he's seen since he's been head coach for the last five seasons. The team are five-time national champions with their last trophy coming in 2007. The big difference coach McGill noticed over the last few years was the lack of team chemistry, but he doesn't feel that is the case this season. Camaraderie and, and the chemistry is getting there. We're doing stuff. Um, outside of the pool together, having more time, um, getting used to one another, um, spending more time on actual water polo um, in the pool instead of just swimming. Last season, the team was awarded the Team of the Decade honors by the Collegiate Water Polo Association. The team is looking to continue their winning tradition this season. One Cal Poly athlete is nationally recognized this week. Lisa Diaz talks to her teammates. This one's sent up ahead, here's Kriegoff. She gets into space, she's got it into the box, shot with her left foot, the ball broke, and we're She can, like, turn on anyone with the ball better than I've ever seen. And she just makes good decisions. You know, she knows when to just lay it off, when to turn, when to find someone wide, all those things. How Polly forward Elise Kriegoff is making history. The sophomore soccer star is College Sports Madness National Offensive Player of the Week, Big West Conference Offensive Player of the Week for the fourth time, and scored her 15th goal to tie the Cal Poly season record in Sunday's loss to UC Irvine. We're still like lost, but I mean, I'm just looking at it as like a positive note. Like, yeah, we got some goals and we like kept fighting. So I think like just the record means that we're getting we're getting better and better every uh, game that we play to get more goals and then we find the back of the net. Teammates say Kriegoff never stops working hard. She plays close to the full 90 minutes of each game and makes those around her better players. It represents the team well. You know, for someone to get player of the week that many times uh, says a lot about her, but it says a lot about our team as well. So uh, we're starting to play well, find our rhythm, and, and Elise is reaping the benefits of that. The team is in the hunt for the conference championship and aims to make the NCAA tournament. Cal Poly will rely on Kriegoff to keep the ball upfield and the Mustangs on the attack. She's breaking all these records, getting all this attention, and it's just funny because we know her as like just Elise, you know, like our friend, and she's kind of goofy, so it's definitely cool to be able to play with her and see her be so successful. Lisa Diaz, Mustang News. You can read more about Kriegoff's success on mustangnews.net. 
We know Mustang Sports isn't the most creative name, so we want your help in naming this weekly sports show. Submit your suggestions to sports at mustangdaily.net. You can also tweet suggestions to at CP Mustang Sports or at CP Mustang News using the hashtag name Mustang Sports. The contest ends on Friday, November 1st. The winner will get to come on the Mustang News Desk when we reveal the new name. Thanks for watching our weekly sports edition of Mustang News. You can catch this show and get all your Mustang sports updates every Monday morning at mustangnews.net. You can also watch our weekly 30-minute broadcast on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHTV Channel 7. Have a great day, Cal Poly.